Tommy, how's it going, man? Good, man. Good. Just working hard. Excited. Ready to go. Yeah. And before we talk about this really awesome fight, we got to go back a few weeks. Talk about Andrea Lee's big win. I know you were a big part of that fight as well in the corner. How cool is that to see her get such an important victory over Cynthia Calvillo? Oh, man. You know, it, it worked out just like we thought it did. You know, it would. You know, uh, we worked hard. You know, we knew Cynthia was going to come in. She's a game opponent. She's tough. You know, I've known Cynthia for years, and actually she's one of my favorite female fighters, so it kind of sucks that we had to stand across from her. But, you know, we got the job done, and, and uh, we're trying to make some noise, man. So we're, we're trying to get it. Yeah, it certainly did. And I know Andrea got a lot of praise after the fight for her performance, but I saw a lot of people talking about your cornering advice as well. Did you get people messaging you about that? I was curious about that. Yeah, yeah, I did, man. You know, I just, I just say what I feel, you know. I mean, she's my girlfriend, obviously. I've got a little bit more intimate relationship than people understand you know i've known her for a long time so we just communicate kind of differently man and and uh, I, got, I did i got some good feedback but maybe maybe i'm not the one that should be mic'd up though you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah for sure for sure no it all it all worked out really well um it's great to see you back like i mentioned i think october of last year was the last time we saw you in the cage and you're supposed to fight was it trevin jones there was an injury there what's been keeping you out of the cage for those who might not know Oh, I actually ended up tearing my rotator cuff and oh, my shoulder. Geez. So it's, uh, yeah, it's been a thing. Shh, don't tell Randy Costa. No worries. No worries. It's all good. I already interviewed him, so I won't be able to mention it. So, Cool. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so, so how long was the recovery on that? Obviously, that's no joke, right? Yeah, you know, it's, it's kind of been this, you know. So we're recovering. You know, we're going to make it to the fight. And, uh, you know, I've, I've altered some things that I do and uh, gotten really good at using other weapons, you know. So... Okay. And was this the right amount of time off, like in terms of you taking a fight or could you have fought sooner? What, what sort of, as far as the timeline on this fight? Uh, I think the time, time is probably, probably best right now. You know what I mean? Uh, actually, I, I've, I've got a little cortisone injection a couple of weeks ago. It's starting to feel pretty good uh, from that. Um, we'll see what it feels like after the fight and when it wears off, you know, so... I, yeah. I, I don't know what it will require moving forward, but I'm, I'm doing a lot of PT on it. I'm trying to strengthen it up and, you know, taking it one day at a time. Tell me how excited you were when you found out you were going to fight Randy Costa because, I mean, this has got Fight of the Night written all over it. Oh, man, this guy's a gunslinger, man. I know what he's going to bring to the table, you know, and he's good. He's got one of the best jabs in the division. He's long. He knows how to use his reach really well. Uh, he's a fighter, you know, but... To me, he's one of those guys I, I think is a front runner. You know, I think he's got a lot of quit in him. Uh, I don't think he's willing to dig as deep as I'm willing to go. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to, to being able to walk out in front of, you know, thousands in attendance, millions watching around the world and, and fight somebody at that caliber. You know, he's made me work really hard. He's brought the very best out of me. And, uh, Randy, I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm excited. We mentioned the layoff there. Is there anything in particular you're looking to showcase in this fight that maybe you've improved on over the last year? I know you're working on everything, but is there anything in general you're kind of like, hey, I picked this up and might want to show it in the fight? <laughs> Not specifically, you know, <laughs> just, uh, you know, the last couple fights that I had, you know, I was trying to kind of iron things out with, with structure and, and as far as, you know, my life, as far as moving I, I moved you know from the west coast back to louisiana i had just a lot of moving parts going on and finally got some homeostasis finally got consistency with the, the way things are you know have been going and uh, i think it's going to translate i think people are going to see how intelligent i am when it comes to my approach in fighting and you know uh, filling in the gaps and, and the weaknesses people think that i have so i'm just truly excited man december 11th cannot come soon enough now, from what I heard from Andrea, I know she had her camp at home. I'm assuming it's the same thing with you, just kind of keeping it at home base, working with a smaller group. Is that kind of uh, what this camp has looked like? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We finally, you know, kind of have everything put in place. Uh, you know, I fly in training partners here and there, but I got a good team, man. I got a, got a good core group of people that really care about us and make themselves available. So, you know, I love it. I love being able to stay here and, and – uh, be able to sleep in my own bed, be able to eat, do my laundry, things like that that you kind of take for granted. And you uh, you need those things, man. You need them for peace of mind. You need them for, you know, just good night's sleep. You know, that, that counts for a lot. You know, on the road, you don't always get that. So, um, How's the weight cut going ahead of this fight? I know when you're off for a while, it can be tough to keep the weight down, but how's everything going ahead of this fight? 
Oh, it's fantastic. You know, uh, something uh, people aren't really aware about me is that uh, year round, I'm, I'm pretty consistent with eating pretty clean. I, I don't jump off the deep end. Like I don't drink Dr. Pepper. I don't eat candy, uh, you know, none of that shit really. But uh, I consistently walk around at a comfortable weight, I feel like, you know, so I think this is going to be my easiest cut to date. I'm hoping it is at least, you know, mm -hmm. uh, done all the preparation. Uh, I've been very, very strict uh, as far as, you know, dietary restrictions and stuff like that. So I'm looking good. I'm about 15 pounds out, you know. Awesome. Um, who's going to be in your corner for this fight? Uh, I'm actually going to have it's going to be the same corner that uh, was in Andrea's corner. And then Andrea is just going to be on mine. Oh, cool. Interesting. I, I, was, I, was, I wasn't sure about that because I know some, everyone's a little bit different. I know Courtney Casey and Jakar Close, you know, they, I think one of them doesn't go in their corner for, for each his fight, but that's cool. Like how, how nice is that to have, you know, the person that you, you know, you're with all the time in, in the cage with you. I'm sure, you know, it's, it's gotta be an advantage, right? Yeah, I, I seem to think so. You know, it's, it's who you spend the most time with, you know, like they know me more intimately than anybody else knows me. You know, uh, all of my, the, the coaches that I have put in place, they spend, x amount of time with me developing so they know my my strong suits they they just know how to communicate with me right so yeah. it's like when it needs to get done they know how to get it done and, and uh i like what we put together and i'm excited i know you feel like you're gonna win otherwise why sign the contract but how do you envision the fight playing out uh, on december 11th oh i've seen it go so many different ways but honestly i just i, I see him folding in front of me man i, I think i'm gonna crack him with some hard shots and He's going to take a knee like he did against Adrian Yanez, and I'm going to clean him up. And you mentioned sort of the shoulder there. Are you uh, are you just going to see how this fight goes and then sort of reassess when you want to have your next fight? Because I was just saying, like, you know, with the layoff, I imagine you'd want to get back in there pretty soon after this one. Yeah, I did. And, and actually, like, I'm, I'm hoping to get on that, that Houston card in February. I know that's coming around. Like, I like to fight closer to home anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just not one with all the mask mandates and all this COVID bullshit that everybody – Whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. But traveling all the way out to, to Vegas and stuff, you know, it's cool to fight in Vegas, but, you know, been there, done that. I'm tired of traveling. Anything closer to home, anything maskless, count me in. There we go. Tony, always appreciate the time, man. I really appreciate it, especially after practice today. It's UFC 269, December 11th. Anyone you want to thank, any sponsors, any social media, I'll give you the last word. Uh, Vital Brew, you guys have been huge. Thank you guys so much. Chilling Hill down in Shreveport, SMAA, Grandmaster Baker, everybody that's put in time. Thank you guys so much. I couldn't do this without you guys. Thank you.